Hello YouTube friends and welcome to my channel. In this video I would like to share with you another watch uh, that I got recently. This is a, um, as far as I know, uh, a boutique brand called Elimi Barocas. Um, you could buy them in most uh, general shops all around the world but uh, they went uh, online like lots of company uh, do to uh, just sell direct to the customer so the watch inside is the general prime msrp 695 uh, yeah we will be talking about the price the model number Oh, if, if it is somewhere here, uh, yeah, the model number is this. Uh, so, two zero zero two seven RG zero one. Here is uh, Ellie. Uh, in my papers, I have also Elini, but that is not important. The line of the watches, uh, which this one is from, is. Uh, is the prime so firstly uh, let me uh, show you all the variants uh, they offer so you have your standard stainless steel with white uh, indexes and skeletonized face then we have the same variant but with black uh, outline and we have the same but with a orange international orange uh, band then same with the red with the black then we have a PVD finish with a nice orange inner uh, so partial exposed dial And full blackout. This is really nice stainless steel, so silver uh, colored indexes. And here is the iron plated uh, rose gold or rose gold toned case, which is inside the box. And then with the black variant and with the white rubber strap the nice blue and that is all so if you want to know more about the different offerings then you can go to elinibarocaswatches.com and check out the different uh, pieces they offer but certainly I would not recommend to buy directly uh, from them and if you ask why then uh, it is because of the price of course so let me show you the the watch or let me uh, share uh, a, a story so I will put down a watch like here. So, so when I when, when I bought this watch, I bought a couple more, of course, uh, in a batch. Uh, you have probably seen uh, some of them here on my channel. Um, most of them uh, were a Lucien Picard. So when I bought the watch, firstly, I of course tried it out, and uh, it was a little bit uh, too tight for for me. So I did try uh, to put on different straps. There was a little bit of a problem because the when I took down the rubber strap, the the spring bar just broke. It flew off, so never to be found. Or actually, uh, I did manage to find it, put it back, but uh, it was it was uh, not functioning. So yeah, I did write uh, to Elni Barukas because. These have a little bit of uh, strange sizing, so uh, I could not uh, found a 
a good uh, replacement so I did write them but uh, they never replied back to me so yeah so there goes the customer service anyway uh, what happened so I of course if I want to to wear the watch I, I need a strap so I, I did bought a 28 millimeter strap because these are 28 millimeters um, or do they uh, let me check maybe I'm I'm just forgetting the size um, I'm sorry about the rambling but uh, you know I will give you all my honest truth about this so 28 millimeters okay so usually you will you will say okay when the strap is 28 millimeters then I will buy 28 millimeter uh, uh, spacers also what they are called uh, but uh, when I ordered 28 millimeter uh, they were too short so uh, yeah I had to wait another I don't know a month because the whole situation uh, that was going no shops are open so I did order online and uh, so on so on and not to bother you with the details uh, so 29 millimeters uh, which should be here uh, I could not found so I, I found 32 and 30 because this can compress of course so I ended up uh, using a, a 31 millimeter inside and it fits uh, perfectly, so no problems there. So uh, that little problem was solved. The funny part of course was uh, that I did pay uh, for those four spacers uh, almost three times than uh, when I ordered the strap and it came with the spacers, but they were 28 millimeter and they were uh, too short anyway <laughs> so let us continue so uh, if you are considering buying a uh, really uh, should I say a large uh, watch and then uh, you should put also on it a, a, a larger strap so this will fit uh, under 23 uh, centimeters but they are uh, yeah they are not uh, really comfortable because the short of the or should i uh, reiterate that the the 20 centimeters is on the last position and if you're in the last position then uh if you are if you are wearing it it will uh came loose or should i say it will pop out and yeah you don't want to to carry or watch it like this they will give you two holders or keepers which is nice but they could go uh two centimeters uh, longer i don't know why uh, but uh, it is what it is so let us uh let us talk about the watch so the bezel has a nice action to it. It moves only unidirectional, which this is a diver uh, inspired watch. As you can see here, the part of the case is also this uh, crown guard which is a little bit inspired by the, the Panerai watches, but uh, as you can see it comes completely loose. Also uh, some citizens uh, have something similar, but this is really nicely made. You have a beautiful cushion um, styled uh, case. So if you do, do like the Panerai design, 
but don't have uh, so much money to uh, to buy and uh, or don't want to to buy a, a clone or a homage then uh, uh, then this is uh, something similar but uh, but different these bolts here are really nice look like screws but uh, and I would love to see if if you, if you do have a such a large uh, strap on this one. Why didn't they uh, go the route with the with a solid screw through the whole case? That would make much more sense and would be much better to also change out the strap because it's really really uh, painful all the time to to poke around here with the with the change strap tool and you will end up of of uh, scratching the the case so i don't know they had the they had the material they had the the place they have also the design <laughs> so it should be a no brainer and yeah i was really disappointed when i when i saw uh, that this is not the case uh, you have to you have to use your old method and they uh, don't even Okay, so let's continue. So like I mentioned this is a large watch, so we have a a case width of uh, 48 millimeters. Uh, let me take off my plastic calipers to show you. As you can see here, yeah, 28. We have a lock to lock of. 40, 44 the thickness should be 17 but let's check it out 17 and a half almost 17 and a half okay and once more the yeah 28 Okay, so the General Prime uh, uses a Chinese-made uh, automatic hand winding uh, movement, which is the caliber PTS-2650-SSR. Dash dash or so SSZ. Um, there is also a variant with a uh, second hand on the six-hour position. And there's also variant with this movement, uh, which is only hand wound. Uh, the power reserve is uh, only 38 hours, which is a little bit short to my uh, liking, but uh, it is what it is. The crown guard is nicely uh, laser engraved. As this is a large watch, watch you probably guessed it. Also, it is a heavy one. You are looking at uh, 206 grams or 7.3 ounces. So that is with the uh, with the supplied strap. The crystal used uh, here is a Cephitec with a AR coating. You can see the blue shimmer there. And we have a really nice presentation front and back uh, to the skeletonized movement. So this variant has the rose gold ion plated stainless steel case with the black. I must say the, the strap is really nice, nicely contoured like it should be but uh, yeah I, I could not even find other placements for this uh, for this uh, strap so yeah. but it should uh, last you a long time and when the time comes you can buy yourself a silicone strap standard silicone strap There is no problem. 
has a really nice uh, 3D milled buckle. Oh, here's the model number. So this variant has also the uh, rose gold toned uh, indexes and numerals with a, a Lini Barocas I would say not the logo but oh yeah this is a little bit also distracting uh, if you're looking at the watch you probably will, will never see it like that but let me zoom in to, to show you what they have done so there is probably some kind of, of plexiglass or some kind of plastic or glass uh, probably plastic uh, layer on the top on the movement to be not uh, probably interfere with the, with the hands or whatever but uh, you can see there is the Elini Barocas just black printed on the on the on the surface so yeah I get that they they have to to put somewhere the uh, the whole logo but yeah loom wise you are looking only on a uh, on the hour and minute hands There is a fairly weak loom. I have not charged it up, but uh, I have tested it out previously. The pip here. Okay, so I did give it a quick charge, but yeah, it's fairly weak. Also, the loom on the pip is really, really weak right there, so nothing to write home about. Okay, now, uh, so the last part, let's talk about the pricing. Uh, I did not buy this uh, directly from El Nibarroca's webpage, like that, they uh, do state on the about about the damn page they are uh, cutting out the middleman and going direct but i did bought it um, from uh, a uh, watch website and they gave me a really nice or should i say a large uh, discount uh, i did check today uh, on amazon they were uh, under 90 dollars so uh, yeah make your own opinion about it 695 dollars msrp down to even less than ninety dollars that is of course without shipping and fees and so on but if you are from us then we'll have no problem to go on amazon and check out the pricing so yeah overall i might say uh giving the first uh bad uh, uh bad experience with <laughs> with the uh, with the lock keeper uh I do like the watch, it looks really nice, uh, it's certainly something different for uh, emails I have in my collection, so yeah, let me also show you the, the crown is obviously because of the water resistant is uh, screwed down and also engraved, so we have to screw it out has a nice red accent like my Seiko Solar Diver yeah but overall a really nice big and bold watch for if you can get it for under $90 in my opinion this is an okay price certainly uh, it's not more than, than your standard uh, 
uh, watches from Parnis and uh, Debert and Bliger. So, yeah. There is also logo. I can see all go applied on the back on the exhibition case. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Okay, so this was the Lini Barocas the General Prime Automatic. Uh, I saw there is also a chronograph version of this with the two subdials here and here. So if you like uh, this style of watches, then certainly go and check out the Lini Barocas and uh, always do your homework. Go and check out sites uh, for better pricing. Uh, some will give you nice discounts. Okay, so thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please uh, leave comments down below. I'm more than happy to reply as soon as I can. Uh, if you are a subscriber, thank you very much. Big thumbs up to you. Oh. If you are not, then please consider subscribing. I try to release at least three day videos per week. It won't, won't stay. So, so. Three videos per week, mostly knives and gear oriented, but also sometimes watches uh, and uh, unboxing of uh, hobby tools and stuff like Warhammer and so. So, thanks for watching and see you soon.